Well, hello folks, and uh, come to look at something a bit different today to what I usually look at, and pop down to a little halt that's been reconstructed on the Helston Railway, and it's just amazing. Now, I haven't been here for about a year, bridge original bridge which has survived and it's great here today it's still and there's absolutely nobody around now obviously I think I've picked the wrong day because the railway is actually closed but you know it doesn't matter back up this line. Obviously this is the, the end of the line at the moment and we're looking down at the original track bed what would have been the original track bed. Now I'm not sure if I can zoom in, do my best, yep can a little bit. You can just about see there where the railway line once was oi oi but uh, now it's looking amazing and beyond this part just around the bend in the track there then there was uh, well there still is the viaduct which uh, goes over the Coba Valley and the town in the distance there is uh, coming up towards Helston obviously that village there that's not Helston but uh, still quite a way to go yet to Helston but uh, it's just amazing to see this and I'm told there are plans to extend the line even further than this point which is great but I'm going to try something a bit risky. I'm going to hang the camera over the parapet a bit. There we go. And looking a bit flooded at the moment. But these uh, volunteers, all, mostly, well, nearly all volunteers, I think. Uh, you know, obviously, I've seen this uh, little railway as well working. <laughs>
see this little road leading to the station which is great and I'm gonna have a little bit of a, a look down this way sorry about the railings but they are just beautiful obviously Great Western Railway was the pre-war private railway company that was running all the trains and everything in southwestern England it's obviously been lovingly restored the colours for the Great Western Railway were affectionately known as chocolate and cream but obviously the brown being the chocolate and the, the cream colour but uh, all the pre-nationalised railway companies had their own liveries and reflected on the stations and the rolling stock and great so it's beautiful down here today A complete contrast to yesterday and there's Explorer 1 now I just had to get Explorer 1 out today because I'm afraid I've got itchy feet folks and uh, wanted to maximise uh, enjoyment from the dry conditions today which we're blessed with so uh, there we go the Helston Railway and this is Truthall Holt Right, so we're at this level crossing known as Gwynear Road. Now, obviously, Gwynear Road for a very good reason, and that being that we've just visited the Helston Railway. You can see there you've got the remains of a platform on the left hand side of the down line. This is the main line, obviously main railway line between Penzance and Paddington and you can see there that once there was a station and when you get a chance I'll cross the road in there a bit easier so cross the road and don't want to trespass really on the railway if I can avoid it but uh, just to show you this the significance of this being that this was once a mainline railway station uh, known as Gwynea Road and it was also where the Helston Railway the branch line met the main line and obviously most of it's gone now I mean you can see here this was probably once where the track bed branched over and came across the road here and we'll cross the road again in a moment if I can I'll get going quickly before a car comes quick now up until recently well I say recently in the last sort of 10 years there was still a siding on this piece of land and obviously this is the old track bed where the Helston Railway would come out of the station there the line the branch line and it would veer off in that direction and I think the first station it arrived at after here was Prezan Beeble Prezan Beeble Railway Station and then Gwynea and then obviously uh, I'm not sure what the next station was after Gwynea but then it would uh, possibly follow the route and intersect with Trudel Hope and then beyond that 
to Helston. So uh, just a bit of a story about the Helston Railway and of course you know where it was uh, connected to the main line and obviously see there the remains of the station in the distance there and obviously now just uh, nothing more than a curve in the line it's a bit sad really it's, uh, Gwynear Road was once a uh, thriving mainline station obviously served this area as well and probably going back to the days where lots of freight and milk papers everything went on a train basically but uh, a walk across the line barriers are up so it should be okay and come to this part here where we can still see the remains of the platform and of course obviously you know Gwynear Road being a, a mainline station and of course the terminus for the Helston branch line now obviously from photographs I've seen of the a real of the original station sorry then just beyond that little white sign there then there was a bay so the line would come across the road and come up to the bay there in the platform and terminate on the inside side of the platform which is brilliant so, another car going past so all together a bit of a background about the Helston Railway so uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you soon